All right, here we go. Step one on the tractor side. In case this is you at home and you're wondering where the directions are. The directions for the third function valve are actually part of the assembly instructions for the loader. The loader that you're putting it on, so. And that's that. Here we go, we're gonna put the shield on for the valve itself. It's too long, 14 millimeter. And that's gonna go like that. I forgot my hardware. You don't want to collaborate with Did they do it? I think they did. I think they did. I'll let you know. Run out of wrench. Here's the sword. Am I gonna really get this one? Am I gonna get this one? Oh. That's why I get the wobble socket in there. <laughs> Boom. Done. Step one. There's the valve. Attach that to that. And well, this might sound stupid, but they leave this little slot right here. And valves pass. These little set screws have always stuck it out. And this thing never sits straight. And they finally, they finally fixed it. Are those bolts supposed to go in the other way. I followed the picture. Yup. Yeah, it shows combination A going through like that. That was dumb. Yep. Good now. Like I said, I'm so pumped about that groove thing. Cause I used to take these set screws out, and they're in there with red Loctite, by the way. Yeah. Cause the thing would literally sit like that. Anyhow, I'm always glad Kubota is um, constantly making improvements. I hope they're not watching my videos trying to make improvements. I feel like I get in big trouble. No, anyway. I yeah, got that nice and flush right there. There we go. Yeah, as far as these snap on cordless tools and throwing them on the ground, dropping them on the ground. I feel like when I send them back to get rebuilt, like the more damaged they are, like the better deal I get. It's like I get a brand new gun. I get a brand new gun. Every single time. I'm gonna leave these out for now before we plug them in because the little spot's back here, so it's easier to plug the wires in first and then get them in there and spray some stuff on there. Alrighty. Let me, uh, next step, we're gonna get this great pipe off and replace it with the one given and a new fitting for right here. So if you are watching this video and trying to do this yourself, make sure this three point hitch lever is all the way down. Because you might get more fluid than you bargained for. And there's a 26 millimeter right here. 
I think, I think we can be sneaky. Snap on has a slight bend to it, so I can flip it in upside down, if I remember correctly. Or else I'll have to take that seat thing off, but I think. I'll just get this little wire out of the way here. So block those holes with my middle finger and thumb. Keep any more fluid from leaking all over the place. This machine's also getting rear hydraulic remote valves. I'll have to reuse this. That crush washer off, we got new ones. Only throw trash on the floor just to speed things up. All right, we got new washers on our hose here. Yeah, so let's work your way up there. See if we can get this thing spun on. Pretty easy. Get it as tight as we can by hand. Yeah. Remember, you know, probably gonna want that pipe here facing almost like pull this towards you. You can see the angle here is gonna go. That's how they see it on the computer screen when they're doing this stuff. If you don't remember from auto kit. These are copper washes, so you don't need like 150 pounds. So just throw the paint on there. I got my finger on top of it now, I got fall off. And I got my thumb pushing against the pipe like that. That is tight. I got it on there good. I got it on there good. Now, right, what's next? We need this fitting. Right here. Go ahead and spray a little lube on that fitting. I feel like it doesn't hurt. This helps me. Keeps that O-ring from getting hung up. I think it's a 22. Let me get the 22 and 24 just to be safe. I think it's a 22. It was a 22. Yeah, it was. Oh, music stop. Alright, that's all right feeling, so, so that thing's on 50% and I just gave it a little, it's fine. Right, those two fittings are for the loader, you see they're all kind of together. And these two here are for this section here. And you can see you're going to have a one with a 90, that's going right there. The one with the angle, that's going to be going right there. You can even see that they're different lengths, so the long one's gonna go away to there, and then the short one's gonna go to there. They can't mess this up. Let me get these plastic things off. All right, the 90 goes here. Seems like I'd rather reach this one than making it short. Degree fitting goes there. Let's see if we have to make any adjustments with the hose here. Looks like pretty good. Man, I'll be adding all sorts of zip ties here. Did I leave my adjustment wrench out? Did I? Did I? Did I?
That's gonna be a seven ace here. Sixteens, but I need another wrench. Got it right here. Yeah, because you don't want to put any twisty on that pipe. That'd be bad. Looks like that's gonna want to angle. Let me angle this out a little bit here. It's almost like I need two hands. What do you say? Stay. Switch positions. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna put some zip ties on it then. So you have to keep one of them two from moving on you. Yeah, and I'll zip tie all this up. Make it look real good. Yeah, and I'll cut these zip ties down. All right, here we're gonna want a three quarter, seven inch. One on the hose. Check all these fittings. All right, then what I like to do is I'm just gonna angle this fitting here. Kind of just in a little bit. Look at that, perfect. It's all about contouring. Oh, that's good. Whew. I'll just double check these fittings. Got a second to rest. Yeah, that's good. Valves on. Hydraulic codes are in place. That's tight. That's tight. Alright, next up, let's get the electrical. Let's get the electrical done. 